I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just finished uh, getting this piano totally ready and it is in absolutely perfect condition. It's a 90, 1986 Yamaha C3 and uh, I've sold so, so many of these pianos. In fact, in fact, the last um, year or so, I've probably averaged like w probably one every couple weeks, something like that, um, because they are just awesome pianos. Um, they, they do vary somewhat in color and in touch, um, but not a ton. Um, they're, they're all just really good. They're all just very pleasing, very easy to play. Technicians like me, we love working on them because they just, um, they're just so easy to work on uh, and they're so satisfying. I think that's, that's probably the, the main reason that technicians are such big fans of, of the C3. C, the C series, that's, that's Yamaha's, of course, top, um, top line. There are lower lines, um, but, uh, but the C is really what gave Yamaha the, the fantastic reputation that, that they have today is the, the Yamaha C series. So whether that's the C3 or the C2 or the, like this one right next to it, the C7, that's a, that's a perennial classic, is the C7 in recording studios and that sort of thing. For, um, for living rooms, the C3 would probably be, I would say, just about the ideal piano, like in every way. It's uh, the size, the size is good. The, the touch is great, the tone, it projects, it has power, you can still, you can still play um, uh, uh, gently or, or delicately if you want to, but if you want power, especially on this one, man, you got it, you got power, and I'll demonstrate that in a minute. I think, I think the reason that, uh, that, that these pianos have, have been so popular here at Brigham Larson Pianos is um, because they're so good and the price is so reasonable. Brand new, this, the, the C3 is like, like 40 grand, something like that. Might, might even be 45, somewhere, somewhere in there. Anyway, it's, it's, it's very expensive, very expensive piano. Um, and we have them here for, for like, for, for well under half that, you know, approximately a third. And they're in perfect, perfect condition. Um, like they're brand new. And, and I think anyone, including experienced, um, highly experienced pianists, would have a hard time being able to distinguish this piano in every regard from a brand new one. And so, so the argument that I make is why spend 40 grand to have one that you can, I don't know, I guess maybe have uh, bragging rights or something that it's brand new when this one is just as good in every regard, including cosmetics. A lot of times, a lot of times pianos from, that, are, that are from the 80s like this one or 90s or, or even from 10 years ago, they'll have, they'll have cosmetic issues or scratches. They'll still sound really good and play really well uh, and, the, and the components will look good, but, but they'll have cosmetic issues. This one has none of that. Cosmetically, this piano is an A plus and, and I, don't, I don't kind of, throw around that kind of rating lightly. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that, that I will absolutely give, give one of my pianos a, a B or a C or a D in, in finish or, or um, in other respects. This one gets an A plus from a finish perspective. Um, from a uh, internals, um, I would say I would say this piano is, you know, also a bordering on a plus. I, I don't know what I would nitpick to, to take it down to an A, uh, but uh, you know, whatever a a plus. Either way, it's uh, it's going to be indistinguishable from from one that was manufactured last year. Of course, of course that. Uh, it, it did take effort to get there, refurbishing. So like reshaping hammers, realigning everything, traveling the shanks, um, re-leveling the keys, polishing the keys, um, bushings in the keys, full regulation and everything, tightening all of the action and uh, voicing, a number of other things that, that it takes to, to get the piano up to, up to this condition. And undoubtedly, with, without hesitation, um, this piano will will endure 
for, for decades in this, in this fantastic condition. Of course, it depends on how much it's used, but, uh, but if, it were, if it were going to a family, as most C3s generally do, to a, a, a family that, that has some dedicated serious pianists, I would even, even in that kind of um, dedicated serious pianist environment, this piano still has decades of great, great use. And then after that, it, it would need to have another round of what has been done, the reshaping of hammers and regulation and so forth. And then it would have another few decades. So this is absolutely a lifelong instrument. Okay, enough talk. Uh, the, uh, this particular piano has, the way I would characterize the tone is power. This thing has serious projection. Um, sounds like a Yamaha, very, very, um, very bright. And uh, well, let's listen. instrument Piano, love it. Love being able to play on an instrument like this. I'm sure that you will too. The address here is 1497 South State Street in Orem. Give us a call for at 801-701-0113. Uh, Thanks for watching.